All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our generative AI course, and we're still going over our medical chatbot. Let's have a look at what we went over tonight. So we did have some success with our model. Let's uh, see exactly what's going on here. So we're going to take it from the top. You see we have all of our pip installs. We have all of our imports. Everything is still working properly from the last time we spoke. Let's keep going down. You see we have our inputs here. And you can see here we have our extracted data. Then we have our text chunks and we split it up. You can see here we downloaded our hugging face. Then we have our embeddings. Everything is still working properly. Then we have our API key. Then we have our doc search pine cones. Then we have our pine cone, we have our query. Then we have our doc search for the similarity for the top three results. Then we have our results. I did change the query up this time. You can see here, this time I put what is acne. As you can see, it brought back the top three results for that. So uh, let me go in a little bit so we can read the results of that. So you can see here we have acidosis or respiratory, acidosis, tubular acidosis, metabolic ac acidosis. Acne is a common skin disease characterized by pimples on the face, chest, and back. It occurs when the pores of the skin become clogged with oil, dead skin cells, and bacteria. And then we have three other or two other results or that are, are on the same line as that response there. So let's keep going down and see exactly what we got held up last time. You see we have our prompt template. And then we have our prompt template. And you can see here, this is what we got held up last time. So we downloaded our model. You can see it looks a little bit different from the last time we had it. We do have a new class here, the LLM equals the uh, CT transformers. And that actually helped us get through to the next stage. As you can see here, we now have our retrieval QA. So everything is working fine. Let's see if we were able to actually go all the way through. As you can see here, we ran it while true. We used our user prompt input here. And we actually asked the... Uh, question what is acne again and this time we got a direct response particularly for the question we were asking so acne is a common skin disease characterized by pimples on the face chest and back caused when the pores of the skin become clogged with oil dead skin cells and bacteria and with that our medical chat box back end is completely finished so we have successfully built our model from scratch it, it was a tough road but we actually got it done came a long way and like I said, all we have to do now is work on the front end, which I'm not too uh, concerned about. It would be nice to actually uh, get it done so we can complete the entire project. But I am happy that we got the back end done, even if we don't get the front end done, which I'm pretty sure we will. But this is the main meat of the course here, the back end. Just make sure that everything is functioning the way it should be and that everything is working well with our model. So it is completely done. I can actually enter another prompt here if I wanted to, but it would take a while to generate a response live, so I'm not going to do that for you. But yeah, as you can see, everything is working perfectly fine. So yeah, we got it. We got it done. Sweet G. So we will be building the front end next, and I will keep you posted every step of the way. But for now, this is the Python Poppy. You guys stay Gucci.